September 1972 stands out for two violent massacres. As the world's attention was focused on Israeli athletes being murdered at the Munich Olympic Games, one day later, on September 6th, the Fountain Valley Golf Course in St. Croix was invaded by five masked gunmen wielding automatic weapons. Eight people, including tourists and resort workers, were killed by the gunmen, who fled after firing on eight more people at the resort. The massacre at Fountain Valley Golf Course was called one of the most vicious crimes in the annals of Western civilization. This book tells of the aftermath. The author's brother, Rafi, was one of the men charged with the crime. Before the golf course shootings in St. Croix, a local Vietnam vet tried to kill two cops while they were arresting a fellow vet who stole money for heroin. Both veterans became addicts while fighting the war. The vet got away, but was hunted by police. He sought refuge in a camp where the author's brother was being visited by three men. The four had no idea that the vet's tactics made the killings appear to be racially motivated. All five were captured, tortured, convicted, and sentenced to eight consecutive life terms. In 1984, the vet convict escaped by hijacking an airliner to Cuba, where he remains today. The other three men remain in prison. Will Cuba now give up the fugitive, given its recent diplomatic progress with the U.S.? In 1994, the author's brother Rafi was released based on his rehabilitation. But because the killings were publicized as black-on-white crime, his freedom was protested and his plans for a fulfilling life were derailed. Rafi committed suicide. Available at Amazon.com and other online retailers, as well as directly from the publisher.